Hello everyone, I hope you all are well and in great health and great spirits. Today I wanted to give you guys an update on my elderberry plant. So I had gotten these seedlings probably early part of March, I believe it was, or maybe even late February, I'm not quite sure. Um, but anyway, I'm going to put a little clip here, a little bit about the elderberry. elderberry cuttings, probably maybe February, March of this year, and I got them from a seller in Georgia, and they were like six little cuttings. So some of the cuttings took and some of them did not. Uh, this is the American elderberry plant, and so I have been watching it grow in this Lowe's five-gallon bucket pail. Only time to plant it. Go ahead and put it in the ground. So I'm putting it in the ground here that I've already started to dig a hole here that is pretty wet pretty moist I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the ground so I've gotten it out the pot look at this root ball I cannot believe it myself can you guys see all of that this plant has been really really growing and I haven't really done much fertilizing I use my homemade bone meal and I put some um, mulch as you can see here which are leaf cuttings from a pine tree and that's pretty much it so here is the elderberry plant now in its home it is extremely healthy I just never knew the elderberries grew <laughs> it has like been that. several months and those little elderberry cuttings have grown astronomical I mean <laughs> I think I am going to have to relocate them. So let's the take a look. The elderberry plant, guys. Look how huge it has grown. I planted an elephant ear here. Uh, this area stays somewhat damp, so I think it really likes it. I gotta make this quick because it's about to pour down. Actually, it's already started to to rain a little bit. But look at this one shoot, guys. As you can see, I have a little groundhog that loves elderberry. So he comes and he keeps everything nice and trimmed for me at the tips. Again, my motto is share with nature, you know, there will eventually be enough for us both. So I'm not going to fret over the parts that he's eaten, although, you know, I don't really like it, but I'm not going to fret over that. But anyway, I am thinking if I can to relocate this, uh, relocate this to a little bit down further to the edge of my fence right there instead of having it right here. Um, because I do have some other plants that I want to plant and this is getting really really big so my recommendation to you guys if you're growing elderberry make sure you think about the full mature plant um, in its full capacity which I think can be about anywhere between 15 to 20 feet high and then a, a width of maybe about five to six feet so yeah um, I didn't think that my little cuttings would grow that fast, but they have. But let me just show you guys really quick. I am pretty sure you can hear and see the raindrops coming down. But look at that. That is a full mature stem. All from a cutting in, in less than a year old. So this is a really amazing plant. So very, very interesting. So stay tuned. I definitely will be doing an update probably in about six months again so you guys can see uh, where the growth is and what we're going to do with this elderberry and the flowers as well as the berries. Thanks so much for taking the time to tune in today to watch this video. I appreciate your viewership. If you're not a subscriber, I do hope you consider subscribing. And if you do so, hit that bell notification so that way you'll be notified of the newest videos when they're released. Until next video, have a great day. Take care. Bye.